Hey everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of the high grade 1 to 144 Gundam 00 Diver Arc. And the 00 Diver Arc is out of the Gundam Build Metaphor series, uh, which was a very short series. And this kit, anyway, uh, came out in 2023. I believe it was the tail end of 2023, from loose memory. Uh, speaking of the kit and its release, I did get this from Hobby Link Japan, so there will be a link to the 00 Diver Arc in the description. Potentially it will be on back order. It's not surprising these days for recent releases to go on back order pretty quick. Um, but if, it's a, if it is of interest, have a look. Anyway, straight into the unboxing. Front of the box with a nice image of the Gundam 00 Diver Arc. Interesting that we've gone back to the diver as opposed to the sky, but um, it's still a very nice aesthetic. It does look very cool, and I do like the changes that have happened uh, since we last saw the double O diver. So, front of the box, definitely very cool artwork. As for the bottom of the box, we do have a flurry of different pose shots of the diver arc. Uh, including going through all its random accessories, armaments, etc. We'll go through all of them, but it does have a lot. So we have the arc drive units, the arc braces, a high maneuver mode, a burst buster sword mode, a burst shield mode, and just to make things even more interesting, there will be some gimmicks within the drive units, which is actually very cool. Last time I saw a gimmick like that would have been the PG00. Um, and we also have some interesting... What to say... Basically the effect parts have been made in such a way that it can manipulate light. Well, take that back. The resin used to make the plastic can react differently with different light and things like that. So that is very cool. Um, I believe we saw that with the shin burning as well. So, very cool. Be very nice to see how it actually looks. So that is the bottom of the box. If I can get everything in view, even though it will be somewhat small. Top of the box, front and rear shot of the diver arc. <laughs> there will be an extra weapon within the middle of the chest as well, because the rest wasn't enough. And then we have a nice little spiel about metaverse. So, that's pretty much the outside of the box looked at. It actually is a fairly decent sized box, so I'd expect a decent array of plastic. Probably a good array of spare parts, but time will tell. So with that being said, time to crack open the box, have a look at what's inside. And with everything out of the box, front of the manual for the 00 Diver Arc, same image as we've seen on the front of the box, and at the bottom, we do now have the usual background information of both the mobile suit as well as Riku as well, who we have seen uh, from Build Divers. It was very nice to see Riku again. I will admit, I did enjoy Metaverse. It was a shame it was as short as it was, um, but it was definitely nice to have some of these previous characters from the previous Build series and all sorts uh, make another guest appearance. So, front of the manual. Packs of manuals are becoming a lot different these days. Um, in fact, there is no real back of the manual anymore. Interesting. Back of the manual is going to bottom of the box. Um, usual parts list. Decent array of runners. Um, the first two runners are going to look vaguely familiar from the double O. Um, at some point in time, I have to see if I have enough spare parts to like make a kit bash double O, but besides the point. Just a little blurb about the Gumpler Evolution Point. So, going back to those interesting resin plastic effect parts once again. So, I don't know how well they'll show up in this video, but hopefully, I will get a chance to do some of that later down the track. And then, pretty much going through the build. I do admit, I do like these color pages be nice if everything was in colour. I appreciate why it is not, but nonetheless it does look very cool in colour. 
And I also see that they're starting to have a breakdown of which runners are actually being used, which is cool. Otherwise, it's still the basic standard high grade, nothing too unusual. It is still derived from the double O, so if you've built a double O once, twice, three, however many times, um, you'll probably remember certain build attributes, uh, weapons and things like that. So, nothing too overly complicated, and it does look very, very cool. And then the last page just goes through some different configurations and things like that. As I said, it does look very cool. So that is the manual. Now, as for everything else, we do have two sticker sheets. Sticker sheet number one actually isn't too bad. Some color correcting, the rest, yeah, actually isn't too bad. May actually end up using the stickers just to make things easier. We do have a second sticker sheet, which is all in a very nice green. Now, apparently, those stickers are slightly elevated. So they're supposed to have a bit of a 3D effect. Uh, time will tell if that actually is the case. They look like it if you look at it from a certain angle. Um, but I think most of that will be used for drive and things like that, but very cool. Now, runners. Let's start with Multicolor A Runner. We have seen this runner many times before in the past, just in different colors. So for the multicolors, predominantly gray, we have a nice blue, um, bit of a golden yellow slash orange, and some translucent green, although it's a bit of a lighter green than the usual green that we've seen from typical double O kits. So, multicolor A runner. Single B runner in white. We have seen this one once before. In fact, when was this originally printed? 2008. This is at least a decade old. And a lot of it still holds up fairly well, to be honest. So, B runner in white. Now we step through a large array of numbers going straight to an H runner also in white. These will be parts unique to the diver arc. Uh, especially looking at these legs. Thought the previous ones were detailed. No, these ones are de more detailed. I'm going to say detail though. Pretty sure that's not a word. Uh, well, at least not by the uh, Oxford Dictionary anyway. So that's H runner. Single J runner in a um, bit of a dark grey. So the insides of the drives and some hand manipulators. We have a small K in that light translucent green once again. A surprisingly second multicolor runner, this one being the L runner. Still in grey, bit of white, bit of that golden yellow orange again, and a bit of a light aqua, I dare say. Probably the eyes, I suspect. But that is very cool. So we have two multicolor runners for this kit. We have an M1 and an M2, both in that very nice blue. Now M2 is pretty much a copy of about two thirds of M1. So M1 will have some unique parts, M2 will have some unique parts. And then the middle will be bits for your lefting and your writing. But very nice, very cool. It's also the uh, chest component if anyone was wondering. So, two M's in that very nice blue. We have two N's, they are carbon copy, all in that translucent green resin type effect color. Now interestingly enough, uh, looking at these runners with my eyes, as opposed to the video, it's a very light green. Looking at the actual runners in the video, however, it's coming across as more of a darker green, more akin to the same green used for the double O kits. So it's interesting enough that whatever light I'm using um, has actually altered the look of the effect parts for the video. So I can definitely confirm how they're coming through in the video right now is not how they will look like directly uh, with two human eyes or any eyes, maybe. Um, but yeah, that is actually very cool. I mean, if I try and catch light differently, you can see some of the original green. Um, yeah, there you go. So, interestingly enough, 
That is how those affect colors work. PC001 Polycap in Grey, my favourite Oh No Polycap. Okay, granted it's Oh Ho, but you know, from a distance it looks like Oh No. And then lastly, SB13 Translucent Red Slash Pink Beam Effect Box. And that's pretty much it for the runners. So, that brings us to the end of the unboxing of the High Grade 1 to 144 Gundam 00 Diver Arc. Good array of plastic and surprisingly only, let's say, two runners of uh, repeated parts, which is understandable because some of those parts you can clearly tell are um, used on the actual kit, but most of the kit is pretty much all new, brand new parts. Although I'm saying that, some of them could be copies from the 00 Diver. It has been a while since I've built one. Um, I'll probably be pre-snipping this one out in the very near future, at least near future from whenever this video is published. Well, let's stick with near future, um, because I am trying to get on top of things a lot more quicker than I did last year, as well as try and get back into the swing of things. So definitely keep an eye out for things like that on Instagram, maybe even the community tab. Uh, would be nice to use uh, the latter more than the former. Um, but the former is getting pretty much filled with just pre-snips, so time will tell. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for that. But yes, that's the end of the unboxing. Definitely leaving it there. Thanks for watching the unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, sub if you enjoyed the content. All of it does help support the channel. I do appreciate it, uh, especially for those who are still supporting the channel even now has been a little while and I do know that there has been a bit of a content drought. I do apologize for that. Um, I am still trying to come out of that drought. Um, I've already mentioned my Instagram account, uh, which is the same handle as the channel. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out on that. Speaking of links, double check the link at Hobbylink uh, if you're interested in this kit. With that being said, stay safe, take care, and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.